Hi everyone, Paula Empty Nester Crafting. I am so excited today for this Trash to Treasure. I picked up this organizer. It's a wall organizer for $1.99. It's actually $2.99, but it was 50% off, so I paid $1.50 for it from the Goodwill, and I knew that I was going to be able to do something really cool. So using a linen white chalk paint and some tools, um, and a couple other items. This is a little bit of a different video than normally because usually I share all the items, but this is going to be a on the go type of design project. So what I'm going to start doing first is I'm going to remove the hooks and then I'm going to remove the backing of this wall organizer. And once I have the backing off, I am going to remove the little uh, slots that you saw at the front. There's two slots as well as there was um, little hanging hooks. So I unscrewed those. And all this is in preparation so that I could paint the base of the item. Now, I don't know about you guys, but does your Goodwill overkill on the pricing stickers? This one small piece, and it's not a huge piece, had I believe three or four different pricing stickers. And, and I get it, I guess maybe people think, um, you know, let's put more on so that people can't try to take one off and then make it, you know, a cheaper price. It's unfortunate that we live in a world that that's what happens, but that's the reality. But anyways, so I'm simply just going to remove the backing and of this using the same spatula that I have right there that I'm using to peel off the stickers. And then, like I said, I'm going to take those front slots off, um, take them out using my hammer, and then I'm just going to give this piece two good coats of the linen white chocolate. Okay, as I mentioned, I gave it two good coats and I put the little slots back in because I had hammered them out. Um, yeah, I think that I like how it's uh, shaping out so far. So here's what I was thinking. So this is the backing, obviously. I'm not gonna use this backing. I'm just going to actually, using my cordless, yes, cordless, uh, staple gun. I am going to staple some chicken wire onto the backing of this. I think it gives it that rustic farmhouse look. Um, and I, I love using chicken wire for uh, different wood projects that I do. Now, let me tell you guys, this chicken wire is obviously the basic find in your gardening section of your Walmart or Home Depot chicken wire. This is not decorative chicken wire. And let me tell you why I buy this chicken wire. Because I can get 25 feet of this chicken wire for $4.50. That's right, 
Walmart, 450, 25 feet. Is it a little bit more difficult to uh, use? Yeah, but I think it's worth that savings um, that I get by buying the just traditional chicken wire. Now, I will say, please be very, very careful if you end up going out and buying this chicken wire because I did cut myself twice um, when I was snipping it from the larger roll, but that's on me because I should have probably been wearing gloves. Anyways, I did cut it a little bit longer than it should be. Again, here is my staple gun, and what I'm just gonna do is just go around the entire thing and staple the chicken wire to my wood frame. Now, you know, this is trial and error. I make mistakes when I'm using this staple gun because it's new, I just started using it, and sometimes I don't angle it properly, and then I get a staple that's half on, half off. So that's what you'll see me doing throughout this clip is trying to take the staple out where it didn't go in all the way, and I know I am not using the correct tools um, I'm using my scissors instead of using like a stable remover or pliers or something, but I use a lot of tools in this DIY, this trash to treasure, so um, just bear with me. And if you do it yourself, if you find something similar, you know, it's up to you what you use. Now that most of my chicken wire is stapled down, I'm just going to pull in some areas that are still aren't stapled completely, just to make sure that I don't have any looseness in the chicken wire. And then I'm going to begin to snip off the excess chicken wire. And when I do that, I will have other areas that will need to be stapled that weren't stapled prior. So I'm just gonna go ahead and complete that step. We'll
All right, the chicken wire stapled on, all the excess chicken wire has been cut off. That, I will be honest, was probably the longest uh, part. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of this wax and I am just going to add a little bit to it and then wipe it off with a paper towel. I'll be honest, I didn't like how it turned out. It wasn't bad, but I just didn't think it had that effect that I was going for. So what I do is I actually just grab a little bit of sandpaper and I sand certain areas and I love how it turned out. I'm not sure if the camera really captures um, the distressed from the sanding, but in person it really does look just spot on. So now I'm done distressing it. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can really tell in the camera, um, but it does look great. I'm gonna set this aside. And of course, this piece is no longer gonna be an organizational piece. It's gonna be more of a seasonal center piece that you can put on a wall um, that you can update for all the different seasons. So I'm taking this little small wreath. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of, maybe just um, small little twine. Uh, not twines, but uh, twigs. Um, and I actually picked up these, I picked up three of them at um, a flea market near my house that happens once a month. I'm also taking these, uh, they're not boxwood, but they're, I will be honest, I don't know what they're called. I'm actually repurposing them from a different project. Um, but I did get them at Walmart for 97 cents for the, um, the bushel it's not really a bushel but you know what i'm talking about um anyways i'm going to take these little pieces uh and hot glue them i'm going to hot glue maybe four or five maybe six of them i'm also going to add one of those small little mini pumpkins that you can get from the dollar tree as well as some little acorns that i actually picked up from my sister-in-law's house um last year and i hadn't used them at all yet um she has a little um, they're not acorns they're pine cones they're small little pine cones she has a pine cone in her backyard anyways that's what i'm going to do at this point and then i'm going to finish this small mini wreath off with a buffalo check black and white jute twine it's not twine it's a ribbon it's a thin ribbon <laughs> talk today um, that I picked up at the Goodwill as well. It was in a bag of, um, I think it was like six different ribbon rolls and two of the six were this black and white buffalo check uh, thin um, ribbon. So.
Okay, so here I am just going into my little hardware bag and I'm going to use one of these cup hooks. Um, they're a smaller size, um, which is perfect for what I need it for. So I'm actually going to screw that into the top of the piece of wood, the bigger opening on my decor piece. And from there, that's where the wreath is going to hang. So here it is, and I'm just flipping it around. So the bottom right now is actually the top. So I'm just going to screw this in. Um, there was a, oh, I can't remember her. It's the Cuban, it's not the Cuban next door. I cannot remember her channel, but anyways, she had mentioned, you know, if you don't have a drill, um, bit which I do I just didn't want to go downstairs um, You can grab a lighter heat the tip of your screw or what you're trying to get in and that will allow it to um, Help to screw it in. Well, it didn't really help me What I ended up doing was I had a screw from the little hangers from the back of this piece and I screwed that in with the screwdriver, I guess having that leverage with the screwdriver um, that allowed me to get started. And then I ended up screwing in my. Okay, so now that I am done with screwing the hook in, I'm just going to take a piece of my buffalo check ribbon and measure it out tight to the top of the wreath and then hang the wreath from the hook. And in addition, I'm just going to take some boxwood and two more of those small pumpkins that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They're the really small, small ones. And I'm going to decorate the side slots of this piece. The final phase would be to add the hooks so that I can hang it back on the wall. I'm so excited to show this finished trash to treasure project. This project can be updated for seasonal use for Christmas. Maybe you can do pine cones and a different greenery right here. You can do something like a stencil or a decal with your die cutting machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to go to your local thrift store, Goodwill, or whatever you have in your area and pick up a small piece similar to this. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. And of course, if you truly like the video, hit that like button. Thanks so much. Everybody.